Hello, welcome to another episode of Two Beers with Richie. Dog here again to answer your questions. Today's episode of Two Beers with Richie is brought to you by one of America's oldest breweries, started in 1855, with the signature beer introduced in 1903. Of course, I'm talking about Miller High Life. So, let's get to your first questions. Of course, I'm here writing responsibly, socially distant from everyone, drinking alone. But not without you. So, let's get to your questions. How can I fix the fork shuddering on my Canty Richie Swiss Cross? All right, so there's a few different answers for you. One, you can try running something like a V brake, maybe a mini V, something where you don't have to rely on the straddle cable. Or you can tone your brakes more or experiment with different pads. What happens is, as the brake hits the rim on a cantilever, what that does is it causes the rim to almost pull on the brake a little bit, that pulls on the cable from the hanger or the cable stop. Obviously it creates more tension, brakes tighten more, as it loosens, the brake swings back and it creates that shuddering motion. It's just the nature of cantilever. It happens more so on the front than on the back. Any chance of a red, white, and blue P29? No, but a red, white, and blue Ultra? Yeah, the Ultra is our current mountain bike offering. So if you wanted to do a custom paint job, red, white, and blue, we're happy to give you recommendations. Or you could just wait a couple months and we'll have a red, white, and blue Ultra available to the public. Cool shirt, thank you. I saw Thomas Frischnick race in the Norva National at Hunter Mountain and the World Cup in Mount Snow. Damn cool. All right, sick. Where do you want the questions sending to? Send them here. If you have questions for Richie, slide into our DMs and Instagram or email us, richiedesign at richielogic.com. Favorite type of cookie? Cannoli. All right. And these are getting easier and easier. What happened to the Ascent Breakaway? The Ascent Breakaway was phased out. We started working on another model. It should be coming out later this year. It'll take the place of the Ascent Breakaway. Steel Breakaway Outback? I mean, I wouldn't recommend you steal anything. You probably want to pay for it. Otherwise, someone would be really mad at you. But if you're asking about a Steel EEL Breakaway Outback, Maybe. Bet you won't shotgun a lacrox. What the hell is a lacrox? Is Tom still involved with the company? Yes, Tom's very involved with the company. In fact, Tom still oversees all aspects of design and production. How often do you come out with new products? It varies from year to year. New products are, sometimes products just stay in the lineup and there's no need to change them. Sometimes there's a demand in the market that requires the product development. There's no necessary amount of products we need to produce every year, but more so if we see something that's lacking that we want to produce, like the new extra wide Venture Max, our Coyote, and a couple frames later on this year. Are Richie products made in the United States? This is a question that we get asked all the time. So if I'm going to pull back the curtain on the bike industry for you, no. Most products aren't made in the United States. They're in fact made in Taiwan. But Taiwan has very high production standards and much different production capabilities than found in the U.S. There are great products made in the U.S. and plenty of brands that do that. But most brands that you see in the marketplace, I don't have to name names, they're all made in Taiwan. How fast can you drink that beer? So 
fast as I want. I used to have a white WCS stem that really annoyed my friends. What color is color? <laughs> what color is other than black and silver be available again? I wish we had a color that was just like, annoy your friends. Like that's what it was called. And then you just like put it on your bike and then ride around and was like, oh God, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. I think it depends on the colors. Uh, we did a custom colorway for the Team Wanty Group Gobert. It was that really bright orangey red. Uh, I thought it was really cool. But something like that that's so specific, it's kind of hard to sell a lot of. I don't know. Get some spray paint. Make your own colors. Do your own cool paint jobs. I'm not stopping you. How could I best spend $69 on Richie gear? I guess the best way to do it would be through your local bike shop. Keep them in business and support them. Second best would be through richielogic.com. And third best would probably be through one of our online partners. Well, there you go. There's another two beers with Richie. Thanks for writing in your questions. If you have any more, again, send them through our DMs. Email us, richiedesign at richielogic.com or even on Facebook. Send us a message. Happy to hear from you guys. Stay safe out there. Get some good rides in. We'll talk to you soon.